26 years for this moment. Today is my birthday. Every day is your birthday. Every day is my birthday. Because every day, source is flowing abundance every day. Most definitely. But we're out of time. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, it, this is as good as it gets. Yeah. And the, the other gentleman, you really answered just about So this everything. is just greediness. This is, yeah. We recommend this. It. Is, this is we receiving recommend. all that the universe has for yeah. me. Yeah. And um, I was first introduced to you in 1991. And... I was told that I was dying or that I was going to die, but obviously that didn't happen because I'm here talking to you now. So, <laughs> and uh, I was given a cassette, so I'm really dating myself how far back that was. Um, so we've been together for a long time. Yeah. And it's just a little bit of piggybacking on what you were talking about. I just wanted you to speak a little bit more about uh, contrast because... Things are going really, really well for me. Let's give it a new word, just for fun. Remember it always. Just for fun. <laughs> Clarifying trust. <laughs> Clarifying trust. Or you could call it clarifying crap. Yeah. But contrast, clarification. Clarification is what contrast is. It's and, the, just and the right relationship to have with contrast. Adoration. Appreciation. It's necessary to step one. It's essential to step one. And without the question, there cannot be an answer. Without contrast, there cannot be asking for more. Contrast puts the eternalness in eternity. It matters so much. It matters so much that you said, me, 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 I want to go, I want to go, I want to go into the contrast, into the leading edge contrast, because I want to be a viable, integral part of taking thought beyond where it has ever been before. Contrast is such a good thing. Not just good, necessary. Not just good, essential. It's like when you go to a buffet and there's that variety. And even though there are things that you don't want to eat, you don't say to them, throw all of that away. I don't want it there. Well, just don't put it on your plate. Well, it might get on my plate by accident. I might not be watching what I'm doing and I might get it on my plate. Well, pay attention to what you're doing. Don't put stuff on your plate that you don't want. And if you get something in your mouth and it doesn't taste good, don't do it again. <laughs> Would Abraham speak to, well, when I arrived here on the planet, all the big people that were already here that were taking care of all of my needs and housing and making sure I was fed, if I cried, if I were hungry, said that it's unrealistic for you to expect to not have a little rain with sunshine. And, and all of our songs and lyrics and everything speaks to this phenomenon of where it's almost delusional to think that things can always be good and then be more good and then be more good. Let's put this into a very clear perspective. Of course, we've established that contrast exists. But from contrast, there will be a vibrational bounce that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Because out of knowing what you don't want, you know what you do want. And when you focus upon what you do want, you get more of that. And so... When someone says that rain is necessary, we want to clarify that within all of it, you don't have options about what the conditions around you may be, but you have options about what practiced vibrational stance you have coming into it. Once you've shown yourself what meditation is and what alignment is and what clear guidance is, then you almost embrace contrast. We watch you. We watch the most evolved physical specimens of your species play themselves against the others in order to prove prowess, maybe, to win tournaments, maybe, but mostly it's this innate natural understanding that when you experience that sort of contrast, a stronger desire is born and that that stronger desire summons more source energy resolve, which leads to not only more satisfaction, but to more. If you can start with the understanding that the dominant mantra or premise of all that isness we're talking about from the inner being part of you that made the decision to come into this physical experience again. 
that your strongest awareness is your strongest request is for more. More. More life. More fun. More being. More experience. More love. More. More. More existence. More opportunity. More being. More. Not less. Not cease to be. Continue to be. Ask yourselves, is eternity what your quest is or ending of all things your quest? That's not a hard thing for anyone to answer. The moreness is what is so innate within you. And necessary to moreness is variety that causes you to choose something uniquely more. You didn't come to regurgitate what is. You came to ask for more than what is. Because until you can fashion its vibrational existence out of what now exists, it cannot become then a physical reality. So the environment that exists that you perceive with your physical senses is what inspires you to a quest for more. When someone's rude, you want them to be nicer. When someone's threatening, you want them to stop. Everything causes a desire to be born within you. And as this mass consciousness of billions of people, and it's not just the people, there's all manner of life on this planet that are sending out these requests. These requests are answered each and every one. And you are thriving as a result of all of that. But there is more human suffering while this system is working perfectly than is necessary and that's why your quest for happiness you're asking for happiness someone someone like us who clarifies how the process works because you would not have to know any of this you don't have to know about law of attraction for it to have its way with you any more than you need to know about gravity or if you don't know you'll just fly up everywhere why is that person floating around oh he doesn't know about gravity yet <laughs> Well, that's not how it works. Gravity responds to him too. And law of attraction responds to everyone too. So you don't need to know about this stuff. It's showing itself to you. The laws of the universe are demonstrating themselves to you all day, every day. So you don't need to know this in order for contrast to cause you to want something more. So you build a vortex without even knowing that you are. There's a vibrational reality that you've been building from the beginning of your existence and you don't need to know about it for you to build it. And your inner being is responding to it. And your inner being has been there shining the bright light of what you've asked for. You didn't even need to know that that was there because your happy heart led you there again and again and again and again and again. It's the perfect setup. Your natural innate quest for feeling good will lead you to the expansion that the contrast has provided. It just doesn't get any better than that. You don't need to know about any of that. If your happy heart is what's leading you. But so many of you have given up being led by your happy heart. You want to motivate yourself. There have been other things that have taken a stronger thing. No problem. All that did is make you ask for happiness more. There's nothing that makes you renew your quest for happiness more than unhappiness. And so this can't go wrong. Whether you are in this room and hearing these words and understanding the laws of the universe and the way it all works and the way you hook up with you and what your emotional guidance system is, you don't need to know any of this to succeed magnificently. There's just one little thing. Most humans are not that happy along the way. So you have contrast and you launch rockets and the next generation benefits from what you put in the vortex because they come in and they don't have beliefs that fight it. But wouldn't you like the generation that gave birth to it to be the one that receives the benefit of it? Wouldn't you like to be the see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it beneficiary of your own hopes and dreams? Wouldn't you like to create your own reality deliberately? Well, that's what you said, and that's why we came. This is not a question, but it's just this is life-changing for me what you just said on, on a level of DNA because it helps me to have a relationship with what we call problems as opportunities for clarity delicious it changes everything when I'm in the moment there is no problem that is not life-giving because every problem summons a solution and the solution is that life coming, you see. Yeah. Bring it on. Bring them on. Bring them on. Bring <laughs> and that on. was my intention. Bring them on. And you gave that makes intention. step five much more easier to understand, doesn't it?
Yeah, I'll stay in step five. I'll focus on the problem, but I will be one who becomes solution oriented faster. Your world is in a place today where so much is right before you for you to contemplate. But so much of the world stays hammering at the problems and pushing against one another when there's all this juicy stuff that you just most recently put into the vortex. Life is extra, 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 extra ripe and ready for the plucking for those who are in the receiving mode and ready. And I stay there a lot. And it's a getting shorter and shorter the time that I'm in that negative emotion. It's there, and then I'm able to remember that negative in the moment. Negative emotion is such a blessed, wonderful thing because negative emotion is pointing out to me how wise my inner being is, how much my inner being loves me, how much work has been done on the solution that I'm not focused upon. You can't feel negative emotion without its counterpart being right there ready for you. Every subject is two subjects, wanted and absence of it. And you can be focused all up and down that stick and you can feel how close you are or how far away you are for what you're asking for. There is no exclusion in this universe of attraction. There's no pushing anything away. There's only attraction, 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 inclusion, inclusion, inclusion. So when a problem comes into your view, and you want to push it away, since there is no such thing as pushing away, since there's only inclusion, doesn't it sort of kind of make you want to go to the other end of the stick that you want to include rather than stay on the problem end of the stick that you don't want to include? Do you hear that? Humans must believe that there is law of pushing away, that there's law of exclusion because they'll stay fixated on the problem. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of this. Everybody's talking about this. We're doing blogs about this. The news is talking about this. Everybody's talking about this. We're talking about this and we're going to talk about this till it goes away. No, you're not. You're going to talk about this until you create solutions that you don't have access to. So if it's only law of attraction, and it is, when you see something you want and you give your attention to it, you include it in your experience. When you see something you don't want and you shout no at it, you include it in your experience. So when you are focused on a problem, do you want to focus on the problem? Because there's only inclusion. You say, yeah, I'll focus on the problem and I'll get rid of it. No, that's not an option. You can't get rid of it. You can only include it. So if you can only include it, do you want to focus on the problem? Yeah, because I want to get rid of it. No, no, there's no getting rid of it. There's only inclusion. So do you want to focus on the problem? Yeah, because I really want to get rid of it. No, there's no getting rid of it. There's a problem and there's a solution and it's only inclusion. So there's a problem. Do you want to focus on the problem? No, I want to try to focus on the solution and include that in my vibration. Do you hear it? That's the best conversation about law of attraction that has ever been ever. Yeah, 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 really good. That got right to it, didn't it?